Hey, how's it going? Steve here again. Now, in this really quick video, I'm just going to show you a cool technique that I use to adjust the color and adjust the hue of the greens in this image just to make the um, just to make the overall look of it seem a bit more lush with some really nice greens against those blues in the sky. Now, this is what we're looking at at the moment is the finished image and I've just got all my layers on top here. So, so I'm just going to hide all of these and take it all the way back to the layer which I'm going to show you this technique on. And so, yeah, we've made a few adjustments there. But the all important one is this selective color uh, adjustment layer. And if you look at this image, um, I mean, th the original raw file is here. So all I've done after importing into Photoshop is just added a levels adjustment. Just kind of tweaked the, uh, the colors and the white balance there. But I still didn't like how kind of dry these uh, these green grasses in the uh, in these mountains looked and so what I've done to just get that how it looking how I want it is to use a selective color adjustment layer and so this is uh, what it looks like afterwards now it's actually quite a subtle change it's just from that sort of reddish dried out looking uh, looking sort of grass to to a bit more of a green so I'll just hide that and actually show you how I went about adjusting that so let's say we're going to do this again so let's add that selective color overlay or adjustment layer I should say and when you're working on uh, green when you're trying to change the greens in an image one of the funny things really is um, that you're actually going to probably find yourself mostly working in the yellow channel or not channel but on the yellow colors there so I'm going to select that from this drop down and uh, let's see I think yeah this is how it was so just with the magenta slider there because the opposite of magenta is is green uh, when you're on a sliding scale so uh, I'm just going to reduce the magenta and what that does effectively increases the greenness of the uh, of these everything that's considered yellow so that was really all I did um, I'm probably not going to hit that exact same setting just by uh, just by trying to redo this now so Maybe, um, yeah, I mean, that's not too bad, a, not too bad a, an effort there. And uh, yeah, so that that just literally turns it from a bit, bit more red, like I described earlier, and then just turns those grasses green. And, uh, you know, it just provides a bit nicer contrast, the green against the blue. So that's it, really. Um, let's just delete that one and go back to the original. And, you know, if you're interested, here's just some of the other adjustments that I made. So this is just a levels adjustment there just for the contrast, a bit more, a bit more contrast, the hair. This one, I cloned all of these people. And a bit of dodging and burning and just some more contrast type layers there, really. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the key takeaway here really is this selective color and just how I was able to change those sort of ready yellow looking grasses into sort of a nice green color. And so if you're interested and you haven't downloaded it yet, you can grab a copy of my post-processing workflow cheat sheet PDF and you can download that. All you need to do is just click the link below this video and enter your email address and that will be sent straight to you. So you can go and check that out now and I will speak to you soon.